What is going on guys? One more scene bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today is one quick episode talking about our 53 man roster. Uh if you don't know, uh Saturday was cut day where we went from eighty players to fifty-three and uh, sixteen practice squad, but we're just gonna focus on the actual active roster. Um few surprises on there. Um couple that weren't surprises. Um one thing I would say is a big surprise is the Patriots did this, but we didn't. Um, they had a player that is still recovering from an injury, and they kept him. And as soon as the roster was set, they put him on IR, designated to return. Ruben Foster on our team got put on IR before the 53 man, so he's done for the season. And for the season and it cannot return because of when he was put on IR which is like why didn't we keep him around you know and just like wait one more day and bring him up but Rivera's call um he's the coach he does what he wants um Marta back is also a very much a surprise. We only we got Peyton Barber, JD McKissick, Antonio Gibson, and Bryce Love, which shockingly everybody thought after AP's release Antonio Gibson was gonna get the starting role. But it's actually gonna be Peyton not Peyton Barber. JD uh, everybody thought Antonio Gibson was gonna get the role, but it's going to JD McKissick. So they say he really had a good camp. And um so he's gonna be the starter, but Scott Turner did say the running back position is going to be by committee. So it's going to be heavily split between either three or four, how many they have active on game day. And so we're going to see what happens there. I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. But, um, you know, and I, and I said this, you know, I'm, I'm still angry about the Adrian Peterson release. But I'm like, as long as the running backs do good in the season, it doesn't really matter about the Adrian Peterson. Yes, he was a great player to have. At the end of the day, if we win games with the running backs we have, that's all that really matters. Um, oh, I just want to say congratulations to Dwayne Haskins on getting named captain today. Awesome. I know he said that was – that he really impressed me in a press conference when he said his main goal was to be a captain. And not like number one numbers or anything for touchdowns. That was absolutely awesome. And um, other captains are Landon Collins, Brandon Sheriff, Jonathan Allen, and DeShazer Everett, which were all captains last year. So good job for them getting um, uh, put as another captains under a whole new regime. So it's really cool. Um, receiver was kind of shocking. We um, only have five receivers which is weird but you know it is what it is um there's a reason I guess behind it already four running backs I know Gibson can kind of go receiver so they might be kind of going that route where he can play maybe some slot maybe so I think you can say we have five or six but uh the five are Terry McLaurin, Steven Sims, Dontel Emmon, Isaiah Wright and Antonio Gandy Golden and you know Got to give a little bit of props to Antonio Gandy Gold because he's from Liberty, LU. So happy to see him out there. It's crazy that um, the player I wanted to get into the NFL made it onto my favorite team, which is just awesome. So it gives me something to look forward to. Um, he's a full participant in practice today. He's been dealing with a concussion, but he is good now. Um, I'm super excited for Sunday. Um, Friday. Um, there will be another Washington, Washington Station video talking about um, the, my, my expectations for Sunday's game against Philly. Uh, Alex Smith made the 53-man roster. You know, awesome to him. Rivera said if needed, Alex could start Sunday if he had to, which he's not. But he's third string, surprisingly. But, you know, um, I mean, you know, it's just amazing to see him back. We're running no fullback this year again. Um, Ten offensive linemen. Rivera was very big on we having all the O linemen we need, especially if one goes down to COVID, we gotta have enough that can come back and play. So we, we basically have like the whole we have a whole starting line and then a whole second line. So which is awesome. And 
defensive line. I mean, pretty, pretty much defense. Is pretty much what we expected. You know, the D line is Kerrigan's backing up. Ryan Kerrigan is a backup now to Chase Young. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure. Kind of like definitely by committee. You know, um, we got so much depth there. I don't think. I think they're gonna be playing with the uh, no tired snaps. Like nobody should be playing tired. Everybody can get a breather. Uh, right now, the starting line is Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Montez Sweat, and Ryan, um, Chase Young. And backups are Matt Ioannidis, Tim Settle, Ryan Kerrigan, and Ryan Anderson. So I'm like, they're really not backups. They just starter said aren't going to be playing the first play on the drive, which is mind-boggling that we have this kind of a defense because we haven't in so long. And now we're just hoping the offense can um, – Back that up, Troy Atkey is going to be our starting free safety, which is cool. I'm um, excited to see how he does there. I'm excited to see how he performs. Uh, he's very fast. He's very athletic. So if he's capable of making the big plays, that would be awesome. And I'm excited to see Landon Collins um, ball out. I think he's going to have a good season. I think the system fits him a little better. Wearing his old Alabama number 26. So I think it's going to be cool to see him play. Um, Special teams, you know, we got Sims returning because he was electric on the returns last season. So that's going to be good. Linebacker core is pretty um, put forward. Uh, we got uh, who's starting? Sean Dion Hamilton is starting at the outside position. John Bossick and Cole Holcomb are starting at any inside. And the other outside is Kier Pierre Lewis. Or is it, yeah, is it him? I think it's him and Thomas Davis is there too. So we're stacked in the linebacker and D-line core. A little thin at secondary, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Kendall Fuller, of course, is starting. Ronald Darby, of course, is starting. I'm sure Kendall Fuller is going to give it a little bit more of the slot look, and they're going to put Fabian Moreau on the outside in some certain packages. Jimmy Moreland made it, and Greg Stroman made it. And they said that Greg Stroman had a really good camp, so I'm excited to see him ball out this season. So I'm super excited for the season. I hope y'all are, too. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think about today's video. Uh, again, this is me um, in a different setting. Not my green screen, not my beautiful background. It's still beautiful. Got some red skin stuff that I got at the store. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll catch y'all later. Stay safe and have a good one. All right. Peace.